We live on planet Earth. Every day we walk or talk or see part of the world, our world. Many of us wake up to a life of ease, the same thing over and over again. We wake up, check our phones, go to work and repeat. The things that we see and the items that we use have always just been there. We don't usually question things like toothbrushes, plates, cars, shoes, or even air conditioning. What if I told you that anything and everything that we encounter on a daily basis involves science? Now, what if I told you it involved art? First, we must figure out what these two words hold. We often look at things from a distance. I'm not talking about a few inches or feet or even yards. The way we look at most, even if we seem to be up close, we're actually miles away. We don't always see the fine details. We don't always appreciate the science behind it and the time and design into making it all happen. I've got two simple questions for you. Where would we be without science? Where would we be without art? Without science, we wouldn't have any new ways to solve today's problems. But without art, we wouldn't have any different ways of thinking to even realize we had those problems. I ask these questions not truly knowing for myself. These are merely my own speculations, my thoughts, the things that constantly cross my mind in a world obsessed with science. Kids are constantly told that they can be whatever they want to be. When it comes time to make that decision, parents or teachers or friends tell us we can't. They want us to be doctors and lawyers. We can be anything that we want to be, but is that really true? In the U.S., we have to take common core classes. Those typically involve science and math and English and history, but where are the arts? Albert Einstein, one of the most well-known scientists that we hear about, said that the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. Again, I would like to ask, where would we be without science? Where would we be without art? I don't really know the technical answer, but what I do know is that we wouldn't be where we are today without both of them. What do you think about what you just heard? Well, it was deep. We have very mundane routines, and going through it each day, you kind of become numb to, like, the things that you see. It brings, like, a sense of creativity. It gives you, like, your own sense of purpose. It, like, gives you individuality. But with science, I mean, we wouldn't have cures. We wouldn't be progressing in life. We wouldn't be progressing over time. There's a symbiotic relationship between the two of them. Um, Without science, I'd be chasing a buffalo with a thigh bone trying to find dinner. Um, Without art, the world is pretty boring. It's just survival. If they really do look into daily objects, like it said, you know, just a toothbrush or, you know, just anything in your daily life, there's both science and art behind it. Without either of them, nothing would be possible. After watching the video, would you choose differently? They're important. They're both important, but I think this is the building um, block of it all. I'm going to still stick with science over art, although I still value both. I think that science is more tangible in our society, even though that I absolutely think that dreamers and the imagination is definitely for the uh, different ways of thinking, but to solve today's problems, I think science is much more of a necessity. Science, art. I'd say they're equal. I changed my answer because I feel like you need art in order to solve things for science. Like you need to have the imagination and the ability to ask questions like you would in art and able to solve the problems like you would with science. And I'm gonna do both. I still think that both are equally important. It'd be a very, very different life if we eliminated one or the other. My answer is probably the same after watching this video, so. What would you say to someone who still thinks that one is more important than the other? I'd say just take a minute and honestly fully think about what would happen without the other one. Like One extreme wouldn't be possible without the other, so I mean you kind of have to look at it from both sides and um, really evaluate what your claim is. I wouldn't say anything to them. I mean, everyone can do their own thing. <laughs> if you want a career in art, you'll get a career in art. <laughs> but you're probably going to have to, there's probably going to be some science involved too. I would say to look at it both ways, see the scientific side, the artistic side. Science and art need each other, they just are both necessary.